Okay, here we go. <laughs> well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to compare the Erin Condren Monthly Deluxe Planner that I've been using in 2017 versus the one that just came out, which you can use for this year, but I chose not to. And then this is gonna be my 2018 one. Um, really what I wanna do is kind of flip through a little bit. Also compare the paper quality. I hear, I haven't even like opened this up yet. I hear that the paper quality is the same as the new 2018 Erin Condren planners in here, which I'm kind of excited about. But this is what I use for my budgeting. Um, they're both the same, the monthly deluxe planner. I will leave links down below for you guys, or sorry, a link, but I will um, write the item description as well on there so you know what to search for. The link that I'm gonna put down below is an affiliate link. I just like to let you know that up front. If it's your first time ordering anything through Erin Condren, what will happen is you'll sign up, give your email address, and an email will be sent to you. It's gonna be a $10 off coupon code. It'll be a unique code with letters and numbers and such. And then at checkout, if you decide to use that $10 off coupon code, obviously you'll get $10 off of your purchase. And then when your item ships, then I get a $10 off coupon code as well, which is how I can bring you the hauls and bring you giveaways and things like that. So anyway, without further ado, let's just kind of like do flip by flip and let's just see how it works out. All right. So, oh, this is like, yeah, whatever. Um, okay. So this like thing didn't come with it. This is just in my thing. Cause this is like my active one that I'm using. So on the front, this is what it has. All right. So this one says 2017 monthly planner. This one says something different. Let's, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Here we go. Oh, that's as far as I can go. Okay. Well, yeah, this will be okay. Here we'll go like this, right? Yeah. Does this work? Okay. Yeah. I think this works. All right. So, um, these, uh, deluxe monthly planners came out last year, kind of at the tail end of last year, if I remember right. So I did scoop one up and have been using it for 2017. This one doesn't say 2018 because you can actually start it earlier if you want to. I think it starts in like July for the extra months, but, um, I just wanted to make it clean per year and then just use this in 2018. So it's a deluxe monthly planner and it still has, you know, the names and stuff. And, oh yeah, the paper is different. It's, it's, the, it's the better paper. Um, and then we've got the quote pages, just like last year, but this has like the painted petals version. And then we go into the same situation over here with the year here. Actually, this is actually a little bit different. So this one has all of 2017, which you can't see all the way over there, but that's okay. Um, but this one has 2017 and then 2018, which is really nice because some people will still have 2017 in this particular planner, depending on, you know, how you want to use it. All right. So the next page is a little bit different. Oh no, it isn't. <laughs> These pages are just stuck together. So this has like the 12 boxes. Um, they're set up a little bit differently. I don't use this, so I don't know. Maybe someday I'll actually get to using it. And then very similarly, um, it has the dot grid page, like this one has the dot grid page as well. And then, you know, your regular quote page thing. But then this one is a little bit different with the painted petals. So like I said, mine starts in January. Um, also in my order, since I ordered on a specific, I don't know if it was because of like a specific day or a specific week, they were running a promotion when these released. Um, I actually just got it, but I ordered it quite a while ago. They had a promotion with the neutral monthly adhesive tabs. I did receive these for free when I ordered this one, but I know that they're still on the website. There are other ones as well that are not neutral that have colorful um, months the monthly tabs, I guess I should say, but they are not the gold foil. They're the rose gold foil, just FYI. All right. So obviously I've used this. So, um, so yeah, it just goes right back into the month view and this paper feels nicer than this paper. This paper is very thin compared to this paper. Um, so yeah, still has those like boxes, those five boxes on the left-hand side. Um, biggest difference I see is, see how much clearer this one is? Hopefully you guys can see it. It's like got a nice 
kind of dark, it's not even black, but like a dark charcoal outline where this one's really, really faint. I like that the lines are still pretty faint. And then if I look at this side, um, this line is a little bit different, which it's not the same color. And then again, with the darker charcoal in the little like kind of bullet point things on the side, if that makes sense. But yeah, I like that. I think that looks, um, looks very nice. And then again, the same thing, dot grid quote page. I'm not gonna go into every single month because that's boring, um, but let's go into the back. All right. So let's go to the last part of the month here. Okay, whoa. All right, so there's December. Cool. All right, so in the back, I wanna show what the differences were from this past year to this current year. This is still part of December. And then there's more notes pages in this one. I did pay for more notes pages. I think it was $5 additionally, if I remember right. Um, you don't have to pay for extra notes pages if you don't want to, but I decided to because I do like extra tracking and stuff like that in there. So um, there is one dot grid page in here, which I don't believe is part of the extra. I think the extra is like in the back. And then, which obviously there's no dot grid over here. And then same thing over here. So this is kind of like looking forward. This is all 2019, which is nice because we have 2017 and 2018 in the front of this one, which I think is really nice. So things to look forward to. Nice thing about the budgeting for this is say if you have a specific thing, like say your property taxes are due on this, you know, on like say February and then May or whatever it is, like then you know to pay or you have like your life insurance premium is due for the year or whatever. Like you know, if you know of something specific that's coming up, it's kind of nice to note them or you can track other things like travel or things you're saving up for. Um, I like to use this for obviously budgeting because that's just how my brain works, but whatever. Um, so yeah, and then, okay, so this has like a similar-ish watercolor thing on this side, and then starts lined pages. So let's see, there's one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's a total of 19 lined pages in this one, and let me count. Oh my gosh, there's so many on this one. All right, let's count, but I did get extra. And there looks like they're all lined, by the way. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, so there is a total of 40 notes pages. Um, I didn't do front and back, I just did physical pages. So there's actually 80. Um, so yeah, that's kind of awesome. Um, I did rip out already in here the stickers, but I will show you the stickers in here real quick. Um, it's just, well, let's move this. I kind of moved these over a little bit. It's just the little ones with the asterisks that have the clear, not clear, but like the white insides. So I've got two of those, which is nice. And then a little pocket just like this one. And then on this side, there's another pocket just the same. Um, and then the back cover, which I guess is green because I chose green for my text, so. Yeah, if you guys are interested in um, seeing how this paper writes, I will put my, I think it was my 2018 Erin Condren planner haul, and I think I did a pen test in that video too, but I will link that down below for you guys if you are interested. Um, I don't really wanna do a pen test today because I don't have my pens out, and I have a whole bunch of things I need to get done today, so I will just link that video down below if you're interested. The paper quality is very different um, than this one. It is the new paper, and it feels really nice and thick with, and it's not like, it's hard to explain. It's still got some grip to it, so it's not gritty, but it's not super, super smooth either, but it feels nice. Like it feels substantial without it being cardstock, you know, cause then that would be like too much. Also, I don't know if I got a bigger coil because I, 
added more pages, but this is the new one and you can obviously see that the coil is very different size. So yeah, it's really different, but this could be because I added those extra pages or if you are doing like an 18 month planner, um, you might get this as well. I, I'm not sure if I would have gotten just a 12 month with no additional pages, if I would have gotten the small coil again. So yeah, but all in all, I'm very impressed with this and I'm very excited to start using it in 2018. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll also put my like budget, I think I did like a budget setup or a budget like walkthrough of this back in, I think 2016, if I wanna say. Um, I'll link that video down below if I can find it. I post so many videos that it's hard to keep track of all of them, but to kinda just like show you how I budget. Plus I'll put my Money Talk playlist down below since this is posting on a Financial Friday. Even though it's a haul, I just wanna show you what I use. I get a lot of questions about the planner that I use, so it's kinda nice to show. And then once 2018 hits, then I will be talking more about this planner. It's very, very similar to this one and I'm probably gonna be doing similar things. I might change it up a little bit, you never know. But that's the fun thing about like planning and budgeting is that you can just make it work for you and your circumstances and your family and your life because we're all different and we all have different expenses in our life, obviously. So just do what works for you. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for me today. I'm gonna jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. I will try to get back to as many of you as I possibly can. Also, if you like the video, make sure to give it a good old thumbs up. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content for you guys at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Again, thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!